hello and welcome back to my channel today's video is a simply gothic one and i'm going to be going through everything that you need to know about the new goth notebook that will be launching today at 6 p.m so very very exciting so if you like the sound of that or are interested in the goth notebook but kind of want to hear more about it uh, maybe more of the features maybe to see it more in like a video then i do hope that this helps do keep on watching don't forget to subscribe and i will get straight into the video so yeah i'm going to be going through all about the goth notebook since making the goth planner i really want to branch out into doing more like planners and notebook types of products i felt like the goth notebook would be a really good one to do next so i'll go through like the features and then the pricing and kind of just a little bit more about it so it's a very similar style to the goth planner because from feedback a lot of you really liked the planner so i've kind of taken the same elements for like the cover and the spiral binding to start off this is the cover so i really liked the kind of alternating spooky things so the goth planner looks like this so there's a lot more like different things like fangs ghosts pumpkins webs whereas the notebook is alternating ghosts and webs so that's the print of it it does say the goth notebook take notes in spooky style so that's the cover and then the back has my logo right there this front cover is a soft touch lamination just like the goth planner so that means like it's really like not velvety but like really like silky smooth it's a really nice cover and it's also a hardback cover too so when it's in your bag it's not gonna like the pages aren't gonna get flimsy or anything because it's a hard cover and it's not like too heavy like obviously it's heavier than a soft cover notebook but it's not too heavy like it does weigh significantly less than the goth planner and it's also not as thick as you can see the goth planner is a lot more chunky <laughs> this does have a hundred pages i believe the goth planner is over it could be 160 or even more so it is definitely a lot slimmer so it's very easy to carry in your bag it's not going to be too heavy and then as i said it does have this really nice chunky spiral binding so i love this type of binding i'll probably use it in all of my planners because one thing that i can't stand is when you have a really nice notebook but it doesn't have the spiral binding so you have to like fold over each page and you feel really bad because it's a new one and then you ruin it <laughs> whereas this like all of your pages are gonna lie flat which i really like and i know a lot of you really appreciate because you could just have it open on your desk and like easily see your notes or your to-do lists like in the planner so that's why the binding is spiral binding so that's kind of the cover and then inside it alternates between lined pages and quotes so i did ask a lot of you over on instagram um if you're not following my instagram i'll put it on the screen here um whenever i do a planner i always like to get you really involved in the planning process of it to make sure that it really suits you so i did ask if you liked quotes in notebooks and i believe the majority said yes or like yes but like not too many so this is the kind of layout so the first one is a morticia adams quote and it says normal is an illusion what is normal for the spider is chaos for the fly and all of these prints have these kind of spiderweb corners with a spooky background so that's kind of the layout of the quote pages so this one is like a web theme and then the next bit goes on to all of the lined pages. So because the quote was like a web theme, all of these borders have cobwebs or spiderwebs around them. And that goes all the way around the page. So this paper is the exact same thickness as the goth planner i believe it's 120 gsm i could be wrong it could be thicker um but that means it's a really nice thickness so your pens like whichever pens you use fountain gel ballpoint like whichever it won't bleed through into the next page because you don't want it going like onto the nice quotes in, like the white part of the text so it won't do that and also the lines are very thick as you can probably see like they're very 
spread out so that means if you do have chunky handwriting then there will be enough space for you to write your list and not have all of your handwriting like just kind of overlapping each other because that's another thing I can't stand in a notebook is when the lines are too thin and it's like I can't even write on that <laughs> so these have very chunky lines um so you definitely will have enough space this is a lined notebook it's not like a blank or a, one of those dotted ones it does have thick lines so it's very easy for you to write on so the layout is it has a quote and then it's got eight pages of the cobwebs so that's kind of what this looks like and then it like keeps going kind of like that so each section in this notebook has a quote and then eight pages and then another quote and then eight pages so as i said the first one is webs and also the border does have some thought behind it because another thing that i know kind of annoys me in a notebook is two things <laughs> one of them is if you have this really gorgeous like front cover of a notebook but then you open it and then it just looks like a normal notebook and because you're going to have it open most of the time you don't even get to see really the design on the front so something that i made sure of is even though your notebook will be open you can still have all of these detailed like spooky borders um, and they make it a bit different to a normal notebook and i haven't seen that done so um yes you will not have a boring notebook <laughs> when it's open the other thing is even in like planners and notebooks i don't like it when you have a page and then the design takes up most of the page like that's really annoyed me because okay it's a pretty design but you've got no space to write so that's why i've stuck to just the borders so it's a nice outline you're probably not going to write up there anyway so it will still be spooky but it is functional as well that's the main theme with my planners and notebooks is that although they are spooky they are still functional you don't have the design getting in the way of the space that you need to write your notes or your week or anything like that next there's a i myself am strange and unusual page so this has a ghost's one and this is a quote from Lydia Dietz and then all of the borders are ghost themed so then that continues again for eight pages and that just kind of continues there's a quote from Bram Stoker and then there's fangs so everything kind of each section has a little theme to it all of the quotes in here are spooky themed I believe they're all from spooky people I know there's Neil Gaiman I think is how you say his name uh, the author from Coraline um, Tim Burton Stephen King Edgar Allan Poe like all of the people in here are spooky Mary Shelley the author from Frankenstein and Rice all of the quotes are from spooky people so that's why this is like the goth notebook because all of the quotes are goth and all of the inside pages are very spooky so I'll just show you one more and I've tried to make them really like inspirational quotes but not in a cheesy way so some of them are kind of more spooky like I myself am strange and unusual but some of them are more inspiring like this one from Neil Gaiman the one thing that you have that nobody else has is you your voice your mind your story your vision and then that goes on to the bats so yes i've tried to make them as inspiring as i could because maybe if you're using this notebook to write down your ideas and need inspiration then hopefully those quotes will help you but in terms of themes and i won't go through all of the pages but there are webs ghosts fangs bats plague doctor masks skulls ravens death head moths pumpkins and i believe coffins yeah coffins are the last one so those are the themes in here all of the icons match the goth planner too so that's kind of the design of this and all of the features to it so this is going to be perfect especially if you are a student or maybe you work in an office or wherever you work to be honest i feel like everyone could do with a notebook i mean i go through so many notebooks it's ridiculous i literally have a drawer dedicated <laughs> to all my notebooks this is perfect if you want to write down your notes maybe you have an exam coming up maybe you want to do like a plan of your revision maybe you have loads of meetings and you want to dedicate a notebook to all of your meeting notes but still want to kind of 
express your spooky style then this would be absolutely perfect for that the goth planner and the notebook are very different even though they really complement each other because the planner is i mean i've completely decorated mine um this was one of my pages but this has like your week view and then kind of like a note section so this is more like planning your week getting your goals done having a to-do list whereas this is very very versatile for anything you want as i said meeting notes um if you're a small business you could dedicate this to kind of your small business collection ideas um very very versatile as a notebook really is but it does really complement the goth planner i will be keeping this for myself <laughs> um but as you can see they go together really really well and if you're worried about like carrying both in your bag although this one is a little bit heavier although i have like filled mine with stickers so that's probably why um as i said this one is a lot slimmer so it should be easier to carry it's something i also forgot to mention is it is a five in size the exact same size as the planner so it doesn't matter if you don't have a bag that's exactly a four like this will fit in most bags unless your bag is ridiculously tiny um but like in most work bags and kind of college bags then this should fit in there i hope i've covered all the details there if you have any questions about the goth notebook do leave them in the comments um but as i said this notebook will be launching today because i should be putting up this video on wednesday the 15th so that is the launch day for the notebook and it'll be launching at 6 p.m i will be sending out emails so i'll leave my email list below so do make sure you are subscribed to my mailing list because i do give out exclusive discounts that's also where i give out freebies too so do make sure you are subscribed to my mailing list in terms of pricing for this it will be around 20 to 25 i don't think it will be more than that i think i'm going to try and keep it around the 20 pound mark because it's not like as thick as the goth planner but it still kind of costs the same for me to make it even though it is slimmer so um, I'm trying to keep the price as reasonable as possible. Because I don't have all the details yet because I'm filming this a week before, I think I'm going to put it on for pre-order at $19.99 and then after the pre-order closes I will put the price up a little bit higher. So if you are after this and want to save some money do make sure you pre-order it today to save some money and you'll also be like one of the first people to receive it. Um, I will be putting this up for pre-order. I do have this one which is like a trial one for me and I've also got two others so if you're the first two people to order I will be able to ship yours out straight away but it will be a pre-order so it should take about one to two weeks to arrive to you because it takes around a week for them for the company to send it to me and then I have to wrap it up and send it to you so it should take about one to two weeks if you're in the UK and then slightly more if you're international so yeah do make sure you are subscribed to my mailing list because I will send out emails exactly at 6 p.m so you definitely receive a notification you don't forget and then miss out on this really good deal so yeah do make sure you subscribe to that and make sure you're following my Instagram because I also have like a countdown and all of that too I hope you enjoyed this video I hope you're excited about the goth notebook and other planners that will be on the way too um as i said leave any questions down below that you might have about this if i've missed something out do like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video and hopefully i will see you in my next one bye